<clears throat> Hello, welcome back to the channel. Um, what we are doing now is we're taking a shot at 5NL um, on Poker Star. So we're just going to do run a single table. We We've done quite well so far at 2 and L over the last day or two. I think I think overall we were somewhere in the region of about plus 25 big blinds. Let, let me see if I can actually get that figure. Um, yeah, our stats for 2 and L is 24.47 big blinds, 100 over 7,300 hands, making a profit of $35. Um, so I mean, we're really going to take a shot at five and L. Just going to give you know one table. We probably really should, you know. I think I mean it's a very small sample, but when you've got big blinds, one hundred that high, you should be skipping a stake. Go up to ten and L, but we're not going to do. We're not going to do that. We're going to stay here, and and I'm also going to just single table. I'm not going to move the. These are the VPIP 100, so you see clearly that these are what these which players these are for. And I'm also just going to single table. I think it's, it's a bit easy for the videos, rather than having many. I don't know why it's not put me in. Um, let me close this table because I'm getting this. It kind of I lose my connection or something. It crashes a bit, and it kicks me out the off the. I can't get back on the table, and I have a feeling we're going to be sitting there waiting. I mean, let's just jump into this game. I mean, I think ordinarily I'd wait for the big blind, but because we're, we're recording a video, I don't want to sit there for 10 minutes waiting to play a hand. So, like I said, normally I'd, I'd just be patient and wait, but I don't mind. I mean, the great thing about a single table is you get a lot of focus and you can really get to know the, know the players a bit better. I think what I might do is just play a single table, try to go up three or four buy-ins and maybe add another table uh, and go like that.
Well, we're going to re raise the ace jack at the ace jack here. Flat the queen eight. I'm going to fold it to one of those raggy aces. I don't think he's going to bet to a if a flush comes in. So we're not going to get our money back for that. We haven't got the best flush there as well. I'm going to play quite tight until we kind of hopefully build up a bit of a. Bit of a stack. Uh, I'm going to put my my hood graph on. I like to have my hood graph on the side sometimes. So let's put that. So this is today five dollars. We've just started fourteen hands. And we'll see how that goes.
move, we'll, we'll move the VPN numbers. Make it a little bit more pretty. What about that? Flat the sixes. Well, we've really hit that flop hard. <coughs> no reason to continue there. Chub. Well, that's this is quite a big open race, isn't it? Four point four. Let's just hope he hasn't got queens or tens or something like that. Go near pot size. Okay, that's good. Possibly jacks. So this guy's a bit aggressive. By the looks of it. Let's have a quick look at the graph. Well, we we'll start with very early days, like you know, 25 hands. We've, um, I mean, that's the other thing about playing one table, taking the shot. You can really pretty much analyze it as you go along, take your time. That's what I plan to do here. I played some tournaments yesterday. It was just... I'm not going to upload them. as about kind of eight hours of tournaments. And, you know, at the end of the day, it was, there was two or three that I didn't mean to play. I forgot to unregister. So it cost us a bit of money. Uh, I think we won some bounties. We might have won. We got in the money in one or two. So... You know, at the end of the day, we're probably minus twenty, thirty dollars. I think, so it's a little bit of a disaster. But I don't know. It's just as sad. I think I had two ace aces that got beat in an all in against a lower pair. Every time I had kind of ace king, I think about four times something like that. An ace king, ace queen. It got beat by. Ace three, ace four. I was just every kind of high V pit was calling my all ins, and I was just losing to the underdog all the time, all the fucking time, you know. <laughs> and but the screen looked a bit of a mess because I kind of I only intended to play like four tables at one time, which I was doing I think maybe five. 
you know, and another couple of tables popped up. So I ended up with about seven tables on the screen, which for me is okay. Um, but it just didn't look pretty, you know, it was like t -t -t -t. and I haven't got to the stage yet where I'm, I can do something like this and play several tables and just show one screen. I've tried to mess about with that a little bit and I've not quite got it to work yet. I haven't really spent that much time on it. So I thought, oh, I was just really annoyed yesterday with those tournaments. And partly I made the mistake of not playing games that I wanted, or playing games that I didn't want to play. And I kind of knocked the bankroll down a little bit. So I thought, what I might, might as well do for a week or two is just focus mainly on the cash games and take a little bit more of a steady approach to build it up. It doesn't really matter to me. I'm not in a rush. I think it's quality over quantity for me at the moment. I want to, you know, maybe maximum of four tables on the screen and you know we're taking shots like this at five dollars you know we'll maybe start off at one table if it goes well add another and until we get to four and then do the same with ten dollar you know we want to start off with one go up to two you know just add one table at a time just kind of go up incrementally and if you play a tournament you know maybe just one or two tournaments and minimum sort of twenty dollar tournaments something like that you know, rather than five two dollar tournaments I think and it just make the screen look a bit prettier for the for the channel Just flatten the jack turn. Yeah, there is something like that. You've got the flush draw, and there was a straight on the board. I, I, you know, with the with having with the big blind range, it's highly likely that, well, giving the impression that you've got the straight at least, is a bit of a move. And clearly, we haven't, but we had we do have the flush draw. You know, if we cause with Ace King or something like that, we have outs. And uh, that was my logic there. I'm going about. A little bit over pot here because we have a double gutter. Fucking hell. A 
to overs. Not gonna come, it doesn't come, does it? It doesn't come. Doesn't come. I mean, there's so many, I mean, I could have barreled that in, it's probably likely to call. So many cards could have hit that, but none did. We've all been there. But it's just going to go on all day. I mean, yesterday it was a bit like that at the tournaments last night. It's just like... I had several sets. I mean, open-ended straight draws, I think. Just didn't get there. Nothing got there. Nothing got there. And when they needed it, they got it. And then when I had premiums, they got beat. It's a thing with tournaments sometimes. Ooh. This guy's a bit of a fucking station, isn't he?
Look at that flop. Are we up against Ace King? Frustrating. Now our race king's going to get beat. Ace Queen is such a vulnerable hand. I mean, yesterday, I think. I seem to regularly have Ace Queen with even with the top pair of Queens. You know, it usually meets King King or Ace Ace. Gone down a little bit now. After that, losing that hand. So, bloody days, though. We give it, a, you know, about 10 big blinds. We'll take our time. Yeah, I mean, if you look at it here, are my. From my whole manager, my. The analysis of my whole cards for the first 14,000 hands. We've got Ace Queen off. Minus 114 big blinds. 100 over 134 hands. 50 hands minus 187. It's not a massive sample, but you can see. You know, I need to do something about that. A screen is a leak. Going to bet here. Maybe we're up against Ace Jack or something.
So if we just play one table until, you know, maybe a plus five buy-ins or something. And then go back down if we go to minus 10 buy-ins. So either way, that's probably going to take quite a while with one table. With the uh, the jack hand up there with the last on the king queen, he flatted me, so I don't think he's got queens, or kings, aces. Uh, he's probably got a raggy ace. So he could have had a jack in his range. That's a bit of a raggy card, isn't it? Um, so by pop betting there, I wanted to give the impression that uh, you know I was protecting against the flush. What would I be protecting with? Probably something better than jacks. You know, maybe queen queen, uh, king king, and so on. But uh, you know, I have the king queen in my hands. So you know, I have a so if a king comes in, I can shove. And he's you know he's in a spot, isn't he? But, you know, I could get done. I mean, we could also be representing that, that. So, sometimes with hands like that, it's not necessarily what I have. It's what I want them to think I have. And what I think they have. Blah, 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 blah. You know. I think I can do that easier with one table than... I'm not going to do it on many tables, but 
I don't really get the time to sit and talk about it with many tables, I don't think. This is going to be re-raised. Oh, well, open raised anyway. And open nine six a bit loose, but I want to keep my VP up a little bit. It's probably on on the cut off. It's at the sort of bottom of the range, I think. And also on single tables, I find if I'm multi-tabling, my VPIP goes down a little bit because um, there's a tendency to, you know, not be too busy clicking buttons. But if I'm single tabling like this or double tabling, two tabling, you know, I can work on things like, you know, keeping my V pip up and you know just thinking about you know spending more time thinking about spots and players and stuff it's probably not such a bad thing I think that's why PokerStars is limited to cash game tables to four tables I think because um continue with the freeze here I think people were you know, playing 20 odd tables or whatever and just waiting for ace ace king king sort of thing so not very interesting for a lot of people but you may have had like you know four players sitting at a table with a v-pip of 10 <laughs> I've heard my name Open raise, you know what they've got.
Well, I'm going to pause it there for two minutes and then. Well, we'll play this hand. It's going to tap fold. I'm going to pause it there for two minutes and uh, come back in uh, and continue. <laughs> 